Look, I've been sipping too much activist. Got rap money in the mattresses. The whole team got straps in this. Just the way of life. You better play it right or pay the price. Being famous won't save your life. I bet you Kenny won't slip. Boy, I spent Kenny on wrist. And I still poke Kenny on a look. I spent some time with your bra. Then I got a sign from the Lord. Told my nigga, keep a nine in your car. Seeing demons in my life that me misleading. What's going on, y'all? Back again with another episode of the league. Thank God event, CNI Studios, and I'm here today on um, Broward's own um, Trizzy Trace. What's going on, man? What's up, fam? What's y'all going know on? what time it is. Okay. Y'all know. Hey, first of all, yeah. I like I appreciate everything y'all boys do. I spread the movement and everything. And I just really respect that y'all support me and the music that I do. You feel what I'm saying? I mean, I mean, it's good music, so what? You you can't deny good music. And yeah, shit. yeah, we both young, so we love the turn up. We in the turn up era, so that's what we doing. Exactly. I mean, so tell tell me what else you got, cause I know you got um, what a, it's, it's uh, fuck niggas or what's that track called? Um, yeah, yeah, fuck niggas. I mean, I had it out for a little minute, okay. but you know how records records build, and we yeah. just promote the record. So I got fuck niggas out. I, I got I like to watch. It's the like the other day. Hey, I hey, know. Hold on, hold on. What girl was you really, really talking about, or how many girls was you really, really talking about when you did that track right there? I mean, it's real. I'm talking about every girl and like, cause we in the stage where girls like to turn up. You know what I mean? And at first when I did the track, I was like, damn, am I saying too much? Am I saying too little? So, but in nowadays, what females just like the real. You know what I mean? So every female that come across and hear it playing, they like it. You feel what I'm saying? So. I named that shit, I like to. You know what I'm saying? And it's just, when the females, cause we do this shit for the females, you know what yeah. I mean? I do this shit for myself, but I really do it for the ladies. You know what I'm saying? So I, I'm, 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 I feel like I'm a sex symbol for these ladies. You know what I'm saying? So that's how I do my shit. <laughs> that's how I do my shit, man. Uh, for sure. Hey, well, I mean, what you got coming up in um, the net, you know, in the near future, 2015? I mean, it's only March, so I mean, it's, it's a long year to come. What, what you got coming up? All right. Um, like I said, I'm pushing the single. I like to, yeah. but I'm um, I'm doing songs for my my first debut mixtape. It's called Lavish Libra, cause I am a Libra. Okay. You know what I mean? So be on the lookout for that. And how I'm doing it? I'm just want to drop like club singles, okay. cause people don't really know my face like that. So I'm just trying to. Get them to really know me as an artist, and once I drop my mixtape, they're gonna like it. So I got a lot of club songs, I got a lot of club songs, I got a lot of songs that you can pull up to the club, and I got songs for the ladies. I don't never forget my ladies. You know what I mean? You already know. You already know. That's real. You're real. And uh, I mean, how did, I, I mean, I know you say you do it for the ladies and stuff like that, but how did you really get into the game? Well, I'm gonna keep it honest. Yeah. My little brother, yeah. by the way, his name is B. Smith. Okay. He's a recording artist. That's, your little That's my little brother. Wow. You know what I mean? We came a long way, came through a lot of struggle, you know what I mean? I was out doing a lot of things that I shouldn't, I'm not proud of doing, you know what I mean? But my brother showed me the drive, like, yeah, I'm the older brother, but he showed me a lot. He showed me that this shit is possible. A lot of people think that it's hard to be an artist, or it's hard to be, so they work, or they go to, you know what I mean? It's hard, but I feel like all blessings through God. If you keep in tunnel vision, and you know what you want, that's what you're gonna get. You feel what I'm saying? So. He inspired me to me being on the road with him for two years and seeing how he work in the studio and seeing people that we used to see on TV in person that motivated me to be like, yo. Because I know I used to always write. When I was in elementary school and them gave us some prompts, I used to get like a four, five, a five sometimes, you know what I mean? So I just applied that shit. I'm nice. So I applied that shit to my life story, you feel what I'm saying? And with that saying being said, I just took a head over heels and I came out what I like to. But you know, already know, I got the song, I'm different on the way. I got a song. That's the song you perform first. That perform first. Okay. You know what I mean? I got that on the way. I got shout out to my niggas Teddy Blow and oh, yeah, you, Kenny Turn Up and um, Lee Cavalli. I got a song with Kenny Turn Up on the way and I got a song with Lee Cavalli and Teddy Blow on the way called Bricks. Now that shit, if you like Dreams and Nightmares by Meek Mills, you're going to like Bricks, man. Yeah. You're going to like Bricks. Disgusting. And um, last but not least, I'm going to let you go because there's some nice things in here. And I, I mean, you, know, you got to, you know, show love to the people and shit like that. But, oh. I mean, what, what, what's some influential things that, you know, you're going to keep on pushing yourself through to, um, you know, keep it moving up for yourself? First of all, the struggle. Yeah. I came from a hood where a lot of people don't make it out. I seen a lot of people that I grew up with. Yeah. You know, when you're young and your mama be like, keep your head on straight and do something out here because you're going to end up dead in jail. Exactly. And I seen that. I seen a lot of my friends dead. I seen a lot of my friends in jail. And I seen other of them 
others on drugs. You know what I'm saying? So I just apply it to my lifestyle and know where I'm going. Like, you know, it always start off hard, but it's gonna get easier and doors gonna open up. My little brother told me this shit and it's the realest shit I ever heard. When you get opportunity, when you niggas get a break, it's when opportunity meets preparation. So as long as you prepare yourself, like today, by me doing that show, I'm preparing myself. By me doing this interview, I'm preparing myself for bigger things to come. And I'll never forget where I came from, because I ain't, once I get there, I ain't coming back. And when I and if I when I do come back, I'm coming back as an inspiration to show others that it can be happen. You know what I mean? And like I said, before I go, I respect the 2K movement because I know y'all boys from younger days. And I feel like everybody coming coming to your life to better yourself. It's come, that's come, it's some that come in for the good and it's some that come in for the bad. The ones that come in for the good, you take off and y'all make history, man. That's all it's about, the next generation. I do this shit, it ain't about the money or none of that. I do this shit for the next generation. And when my generation have generations and generations, you feel what I'm saying? I ain't trying to have my future generation be struggling. So if I can make it to where I put myself and I be that sacrificial lamb to get what I need to get, I'm gonna do it. And that's it. That's it, that's it. That's it. Shout out to my nigga Trace. Shout out to Treasy. He just he just killed the stage. Um, I like to fuck niggas. Um, we different out here. Um, it's, it's the leak, man.